What is up, Alo family, man? Back again with another reaction video for you guys. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Meek Alo. You know what I'm saying? I told you I was going to be dropping another reaction video soon. And I decided to react to a channel that we already reacted to once before. It's that Cot Cheating channel. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like a channel like like that or whatever. I don't know. It's a TikTok compl compl compilation of cheaters let's let's peep this all right y'all just to let y'all know if there's any sound music anything in the video i'm going to mute it you know if you got a problem with that then go you see the damn video right there go click that shit because i don't i don't really care you know what i'm saying but i'm not trying to get copyrighted so let's jump right into the video yeah see that shit already started right there. So let me mute it. I'm going to read it for you guys. His wife cheated so he got a dartboard for his birthday. Her birthday, they meant. Okay, what's this? I caught my best friend with my boyfriend. Hey, Bryce. I have a question. Ask. What are you doing last Saturday? I think I was at my grandma's. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. Were you really? Yeah, I was at my grandma's. Funny, because I checked your Snapchat location. And guess where I was at? Where? My grandma's? No, my boyfriend's house. You told her? I Hold on. What kind of shit was that? I thought the girl with the blonde hair was her best friend. What kind of gay ass shit is this, man? Come on, man. That shit fake as hell. He, this man was looking right at me the whole time. He was looking at the camera. But, I don't know. These these niggas is too dramatic on TikTok. I had to. Yeah, and I'm calling you out. You're recording? Yeah, I'm My husband cheated on me. That's him. That's me. Obviously, that's us again. I moved across country to be with him. Now, this is a search history on his phone. So let's get started. How long until you can't take plan B? <laughs> How much is plan B? How long do you have to be separated before a divorce? What happens if you cheat on your wife in the military? How long do you have to be separated before a divorce? What happens if you cheat on your wife in the military? <laughs> Definition and consequences of adultery. New adultery rules for military spouses. A closer look at infidelity in military marriages. <laughs> what happens when you cheat on your wife in the military? How do you block your photos on Facebook? How do you delete your face? Bro, this nigga went all out with the Google searches. Damn. And this is more than one day. This nigga was, he was stuck. He was stuck looking for answers, you know what I mean? Google don't got all the answers, man. This day, I was having surgery. Virginia Beach spring break. Can drunk sex lead to pregnancy? Chances of getting pregnant while drunk. What time is the FSU game? What a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, that's what time was the game, man. I'm weak. <laughs> yeah, I'm a muted guys. I'm not doing all that. Her ex put nail polish all over the back of her car. He asked for his jacket back the next day. But the thing is. That, that was like a Hanes hoodie. Who the hell is going to cry about a Hanes hoodie, my nigga? That shit like $7. For a hoodie. Uh, my ex and his... Whoa. During our whole relationship. When he swore he was being loyal and would never hurt me. My ex and his... During our... What? What did I even say? <laughs> Ugh, gotta mute it again, bro. Why y'all play these corny ass beats? My, I don't know. Y'all might be able to understand it. Oh no. uh, yeah, I don't care about this one. If she weird, didn't think I was gonna let y'all skip out on seeing it the second time, right? This is my third time, but like somebody is pissed. Shouldn't have fucked around, bro. Your boxers won't be hanging by the mailbox. How are you cheat? Because your girlfriend was pissed off that you showed your ass. 
Was that a thing? When niggas cheat, y'all, they girl just hang their boxes on a mailbox? What the hell kind of shit is that, man? That don't even make sense. Last night, you text another fucking girl and that just you've been in a relationship you. with and asked her. <laughs> Bro, why you look so sad? That's how, you, that's how you look like when you were seven years old and your mom said, get your ass in this room. That's how you look by the door. What? Or to come fucking pick you up, so get your goddamn yes. shit out of my motherfucking condo and leave. Because you wasn't sure enough fucking Oh, so get, get it from somebody else, Jake. I'm not getting nothing from nobody Fuck else. Me. I've got another scandal, and this one is a roller coaster of a ride. So this I fuck with that voice. That's hard. I wish I could talk like that. This girl messaged me saying she saw my TikTok videos and she's wondering if I can help her see if her boyfriend is loyal. She wants to see how he'll act when she's not actually there with him and whether he'll entertain the messages or whether he'll say he's got a girlfriend or what he'll do. Before I got involved, I wanted to see how long they've been together and how old they are, just because that might change how intense the relationship is, possibly. And she said that she's 17, he's 20, and they've been together for nearly a year and seven months. I said, I'll do it, what's his at? And I also just said, make... Ew. That nigga a damn pedophile. That mean, when he was 19, he was talking to a 16-year-old. That shit sounds weird. You niggas is gross. You niggas need to wash all that damn disgrace off y'all, man. Fucking stank. Make sure you think about it properly in case he acts a certain way that she wasn't expecting. And she said, if he acts a certain way that I wasn't expecting, at least I'll find out sooner than later. She gave me his username and I followed him later on that day. It was really difficult to start a conversation with him because he has a private account, but he also didn't accept my friend request. She said he only accepts people that he knows. That meant I couldn't send him a flirty message or anything commenting on his looks because he knows that I don't know what he looks like because I've not seen his profile. Anyway, he did end up replying, so like for part two if you want to see it. This is part two of the roller coaster ride scandal. So I started a conversation with him and I just made up that I used to have him on Snapchat or something and he read it and didn't reply. So then I said to her... He didn't say anything, so I guess you're good. It might just be because he doesn't know me, could be because he's not into me, whatever, but he doesn't seem to be entertaining it at all. There's a plot twist coming, just wait. This is my conversation between me and him. I said, hey, is this his name? What happened to your Snapchat? He said, who are you? I just made up that I had him on Snapchat so that I could at least get in the conversation with him to then start a proper conversation. And he just said, I wouldn't have you on Snapchat, I've never met you. So I was like, is this his name? He just read it and didn't reply, but she said that he was in work. And then she said, did he reply or accept your request? And I said, no. And he declined the request. And then she said, okay, thanks for the help. Might be lucky to have him because we thought everything was happy and dandy. So then I said, have faith in your relationship. You shouldn't need to worry. And then she said, oh my God, so. And things went a bit downhill, like for part three. Part three of the roller coaster ride scandal. So the next day I got a message from her saying, oh my God, so. Okay, is anybody else getting tired? Because... This shit make me want to go to sleep. God damn, bro. She reading a whole book. Like, summarize that. Damn. You could have made both of them videos like 15 seconds long. Just say, I text a nigga who had a girlfriend. You know, me and his girlfriend had so-and-so. Fucking. They had some damn thoughts about their relationship. Like. She, he was cheating or whatever. And like, get to the damn point. Like, I know you got a cool ass accent, but stop using that shit so much. God damn, nigga. Oh, and all of this. You can pause it if you want to read. I with my boyfriend, but he forgot I was coming and I was on his phone helping him with something on his email. And then I went to swipe up to delete the tabs on his chat. I was going to show the message he had written, message that he didn't send saying, You are the gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Uh, I took a photo one moment. I pressed on it and Instagram just restarted back to its normal page. So if I wasn't hit with him, he could have sent you that message. Text him and just say hi. I want you to know how he reacts at this point. I trust him, but I want to know his reaction. X. I know it's not bad at all to compliment someone, but he didn't send it because I came to see him. Like, why can't he compliment you when I'm there? Send me a. Wait, what? Okay, if you if you with your girl or whatnot and like her friend is looking good or even somebody you don't know is in the same room as you and your girl, 
You can't just say. What did this nigga say again? This nigga said, "Hold on, I'm gonna show him the message." Right? He said, "You are gorgeous, bro. You can't say that, my nigga. That's a form of cheating. That's that man flirt. That man flirtatious. Like you. Like I don't know. What y'all think about that? Can you tell another girl she look good if you're in a relationship? Like I don't think it's anything wrong with that, cause." People have female friends, male male friends, you know, girls have male friends. Like, you could say, wow, you look sharp, you look nice, you know what I mean? You look well put together, you know what I mean? Compliments like that, but a compliment that's directed right towards somebody's looks, like a compliment like that, you trying to get some whack. Story time was just a recipe for disaster, but I'm glad that they're okay now, and I'm glad that's over. I don't even know what happened. Like, I hope this ain't a screen recording, and I hope her ass is really stuck in that phone. Like, I hope she's stuck on iMessage. Like, she's, like, her right there. She can't get out of that little box. You ever found your boyfriend cheating on you, but while apologizing to you, he gets on his knees and asks you to marry him. You stupidly say yes, and then a month later you broke it up because he's still cheating on you. I don't believe there was a boyfriend in, in her life. I think that was all cap. Oh, no. My bro found out his girlfriend cheated on him. Damn, that's hard, bro. So we're going to teach her a lesson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro, that shit is so funny, bro. <laughs> they about the pool. Hey, that looks dope. Where is that? Bro, I'm so weak. Let's see if it still makes sense. Yeah. I hope they. I wish they just talk, man. Damn, niggas can't talk no more. Damn, this corny ass. They lie like hell. Fall in love with the. Oh, has been cheating on me. Damn, bro, he's sad as hell and ugly. Damn. Ugly face, man. Straight face, big nose, little lips. <laughs> bro, he got <cabin>, bro. <laughs> he said it was with the boys he told me not to worry about. Bro, he's straight capping. This man got no neck. Let's find out about uh, Where ex cheats on you, on her girlfriend with you. When your ex cheats on her girlfriend with you. Wait, what? And then puts a restraining order on you. So girlfriend don't fight As long as I could bust Oh, no, dude. But that shit crazy. If that's true. Silent and shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Damn. My cheating ex saying he did nothing wrong and wants me to show him where he went wrong. What? Niggas do be acting for reassurance and niggas don't get reassurance these days, man. Only females get reassurance. Like, if a nigga, if a nigga feels some type of way, a girl never let you know, bro. Like, some damn straightforward answers. Y'all be saying y'all straightforward as hell, but, ugh, man, y'all be on some games. This is just a little PSA for anyone in a relationship or wanting to get into a relationship. Oh, she got her grandma's earrings in right now. I can't even watch this. But that music in the back background is killing me. Can't listen to it. I listen to the end of it. You're breaking someone's heart. Oh my gosh. Bro, I can't. I'm not doing another complication with this again. Ugh. 
Damn, my nose running today, man. I need to stop sleeping with the damn fan on, my nigga. She is full on in tears, but I feel for her. Not worth it. No, I don't. I'm a captain. What the hell is he talking about? All right, hello, family, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm about to drop another video right after this. I was not messing with that video at all. Like, that shit was just not funny to me. Oh, don't look at the car. But, yeah. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Later, hello, family.